Hi everybody, how to draw the negative externality and consumption diagram, which is also the demeric good diagram. Well, as always, we start with labelling our axis. So let's get moving there. With all market failure diagrams, you must label all three. Price, cost benefits on the y-axis, quantity simply on the x-axis. If you know the market you're working with, then use that on the axis to apply better. We then start with a basic equilibrium like that. And we don't label the curves just yet because in our mind we stop here and we think, right, what are we working with? Because we know there's going to be a discrepancy between social and private of something. The title tells us consumption here is very helpful. The costs curve relates to producers, the benefits curve relates to consumers. So if we have a negative spectality in consumption, there is going to be a discrepancy between the marginal social benefit and the marginal private benefit. Negative tells us where the social curve will be located in relation to the private curve. So if it's in consumption, the cost curves are staying exactly where they are. The social costs are equal to the private costs, so we can label that. And label it fully. MSC is equal to MPC, which is our supply curve here. The issue is with benefits. Right, negative externality and consumption. Negative, implying that the social benefit curve is to the left of the private benefit curve. So we can label this our marginal private benefit curve. We know that our marginal social benefit curve is to the left of it. We can label that. Right. Lovely, that's the hard work done. Now let's label our equilibrium. We need to label our private optimum, which is where MPB is equal to MPC. And that is there at Q1 with a price here at P1. Social optimum is where MSB is equal to MSC. Make it clear to the examiner you know it's the social optimum by labelling it Q star and P star. Show the examiner you know there is a market failure here, that there is an overconsumption going on. Too many resources are allocated to this good or service and society desires. Show the examiner that you know that this is a misallocation of resources. That's always a nice extra touch. A lovely extra touch there. And any time there is a misallocation of resources, the market's not doing its job properly, society loses out with the loss of welfare. It's always the triangle, the welfare loss triangle, that points towards the social optimum. If you look here, there is only one triangle that does that, and that's this one. Pointing to the social optimum, label that, make it clear to the examiner again, you know what you're shaving in and what it represents. That's the welfare loss. Remember, my technique, you have a mental checklist to then go through. In your head, you think, right, before I start drawing, what am I trying to show here? You know what you're trying to show, and you know as well, as an economist, good habits you must do. Three good habits are there. Remember, we draw ACE diagrams. We label our axis. Have we done that here? Yes, we have. We label our curves fully. Have we done that here? Yeah. Are our equilibria labeled? Yes, we have. We've got P1, Q1, P star, Q star. Everything's nicely labeled. Have we made it clear that the private and social are different? Yes, we have made that clear. Have we labelled a misallocation of resource and made it clear to the examiner why the market fairly lies? Yes, we have. Have we shown the welfare loss? Yes, we have. And don't forget, any time you draw diagrams, you draw them really big, about half a page, you draw them in pencil and with a ruler so that they are presented well. Diagrams are worth a huge number of marks. That's the negative x and consumption diagram. Also can be used for a demerit good. Practice, practice, practice. See you for the next video. Thank you.